Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's time to make this DIY Easy Dollar Tree Jute Basket with lining. First thing you're going to need is your protective mat, glue sticks and glue gun, an empty tissue box, this three pack of jute twine, we're only going to use the natural, a lean tacky glue or any white glue, this is good because it's nice and thick, and a pillowcase, all from the Dollar Tree. First thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut the four corners of the box, remove the plastic if you have it, and we're gonna glue the flaps down. I'm sorry you can't see the first two real quick off camera, but you'll see the next two. I'm using both white glue and tacky glue because I want a more permanent bond, but I want it to set quick. So the combination works great. And we're gonna do the same combination with wrapping the jute twine. Start in the corner with a dab of hot glue just to secure the first piece. And then as you see, once I've got each corner down, I'm laying a couple of layers, what I consider a couple of layers worth of white glue. And you see here, I tried to wrap it and push the thread down and it ended up giving me too much of a gap. So I went ahead and I just figured it's best to just do it each row individual. And I have to admit, this does take a while, but this is a fun sit in front of the TV kind of project. Um, I did not sit in front of the TV and I was bored out of my bird. No, not really. Just kidding. I had music on. So um, I just was going along. And I will admit, this does take quite a while, but it is lots of fun. And honestly, this is something that you can get your kids involved in if you have them. Okay? But must admit you do get sticky fingers so be prepared for that and you guys go ahead and enjoy some music while I get to the end Now that I'm at the last row, I go ahead and I'm gonna use just glue gun, glue sticks, um, because we're gonna wrap the bottom as well and it would take a really long time for the bottom to dry. Um, plus we want them to hold down, you know, the, the strings on the side will hold each other in place while the glue dries, but on the bottom, they would just fly off the box. So um, I spent as much time wiping glue stick glue off my fingers as I did gluing. I'm just kidding. Um, and I didn't really find that I would burn my fingers too much because I'd lay down a line of glue and I'd pull the string tight so it was set in the glue and then just push it back towards um, the row. But as you can see here, you just go around and around and around um, until you get to the center, okay?
This is where I was getting so excited because it was like towards the end. But um, basically you're just gonna end up, keep going and as you can see it becomes like one clean row. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the lining. Now if the dimensions of this box equaled 40 inches, basically if all four sides added equaled 40 inches, we wouldn't have to do anything to the width of this pillowcase. But since that's not the case, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna lay the pillowcase inside out turn it inside out and we're going to lay it flat on the table um, with the open edge towards us um, now we're going to take our tissue box we're going to measure one side remember this is folded in half so we only have to make it as wide as one side and one end okay and then we're just going to live a little bit for like a seam allowance but there's no sewing it's just going to be gluing okay so now that we've done that, it's a really rough cut. I suggest you get a better scissor than I had. I was just really too tired at this point to get up and get my good scissor. <laughs> but you see, it really would make a difference. And I just run a, a bead of glue down just to attach it. It's sort of like the no-sew equivalent of pinning, okay? If you're a sewer and you're like, what is she doing? So then I've rolled the box over and I've just really roughly cut out so I could work with a more manageable size piece. Um, basically underneath the side. So I made a whole full bottom, even though I only need half a bottom. And again, I'm just running a bead of glue down just to be able to work with this. Now, if you were not picky, like I tend to be a little picky, if you were not picky, you could just leave this. As you see, I'm going to dry fit it in the box, which you always want to try to do as you go along. And it, there's, it's lined. I mean, I could adjust it and you could see that it's really a little too big, but it's not the worst thing in the whole world. The reason I like a liner in a basket is not only so this doesn't look like a tissue box anymore, but really it's so like if you mess it up, you don't have to worry about cleaning your basket. Um, even regular baskets, I like linings. Um, you could take them out and throw them in the wash, which I really like. So what I'm doing here is I'm just putting a little glue and I'm making the the liner not so wide I'm basically making it taking it in on the sides um, I've just glued a secondary line on the inside like right there and now I'm gonna fold the edge over with a little bit extra that I know that it needs and again if you cut it perfectly the first time you don't have to do this if your box is uh, 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 or 10 by 10 I guess it would be a square then uh, <laughs> then you don't need to do any of this but um, you just have to glue a little, turn it, dry fit it, glue a little, turn it, dry fit it like that. And I found that that was the perfect width. So now I'm gonna have work on the bottom. And the bottom I just did to do a little bit of figuring because I wanted to figure out the best way to show you guys how to do it. Again, without being too difficult. So um, here I am, I've turned the fabric inside out. And I placed the box a little bit lower there where I want my lining to fold over just to figure out exactly where it needs to go down. And this is me just cutting off the salvage edge from the side as so it won't be too bulky. Um, and in doing so, I actually cut a piece of the glue strip that I glued off, but I'll fix that later. You guys will see. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to try to find the best way to work. Let's see. I would really like to do gusseted, um, basically make a square bottom the best that I can. So um, what I've decided to do is mark the four corners of the box. I'm trying to make it even left to right. Um, and I'm just marking with a pencil, a little mark to indicate the bottom of the box and the side um, where the side meets. And then I'm just transferring that or transcribing that to the other side. I do it with uh, pinching and folding, um, the same thing. I just mark, hold it with my finger on the other side and then um, you can find with folding and stuff too. So with this fabric happens to be polyester, uh, a really low grade polyester too. Oh, here I am fixing that side seam. I'm like, oops, I made a boo-boo. We just gotta glue that again. Um, okay, so back to the bottom. 
I'm taking, I'm starting with one of the sides and I'm taking the two markings and I'm folding, oh my, I'll start with the other side. I'm taking the two markings and I'm finger pressing is what we call it. Basically it works really good with a polyester as well. It's just the heat of your finger is giving you a very subtle line to see where um, to mark. So if you see here, I finger pressed it on that side and you can see the line coming through. And then what I'm gonna do where I finger press is I'm just gonna lay glue exactly on that seam and flip it back over and finger press it again or pull it same tightness again. And then I'm gonna do the same with the other side. Grab the two markings, finger press it, turn it right sides. I'm laying the glue on the right side. Um, and then folding that back over and giving it another press. And then I'm gonna do the same with the long sides, which is easy now because I have the four corners marked with the sides. But same thing, just go ahead, finger press it. And uh, be, this being, the sides being a little longer, it did take a little bit more work, there you go. And then when you see the seam, you just glue on the seam, same as the two short sides. Um, just be careful when you fold it back over that you don't actually accidentally glue the lining to itself, except where you wanna glue the lining to itself. And now we're gonna do the last long edge and we're just gonna repeat the same process. Um, and then once we have all four of the sides um, together, uh, let's see, there we go. Um, now we're just gonna dry fit it again and I wanna make sure that all those bottom corners are where we just decided the bottom corners are gonna be and it actually works out really well. It works out really nicely. It doesn't have to be perfect exact, um, as always, you know. Um, now, again, if you have a sewing machine or you like to sew, obviously sew this lining. But I just wanted to show you guys the resource of the pillowcase um, using for other things other than a pillowcase. Um, so now what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> I have this just too much bulk on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue basically the seam up from the bottom um, about I guess it's about halfway of what I had but it would be about halfway through the box okay and again just rough cutting it let's see if the seam held check all my corners looks good and now we have a very well fitting lining as you can see okay just adjust your edges. How much you want the lining to hang over the edge is personal preference. Um, but for this, I just figured uh, a little bit past the seam, the little bit past, excuse me, the pillowcase edge would look good. Okay, and there you have it. Now you can always add embellishments to this ribbon and lace if you wanted to, but I like it just plain like this. So I hope you really liked this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family, anybody who know you might be interested in making this craft. And as always, take care, God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye!